horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Indian companion Toto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver, the lone ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'm silver! Oh! Spring, 1866. The ominous clouds of war and death that had so recently shadowed the United States still hung over our sister republic of Mexico. Maximilian's French troops moved steadily northward, crushing the resistance of a brave patriot army that fought for freedom and for its beloved president, Benito Pablo Juarez. In a small tent near the village of Satillo, field headquarters of the Republican Army, Commander-in-Chief Mariano Escobedo received bad news. Comandante. What is it, Ordley? A dispatch, Comandante. The rider just arrived. A dispatch from General Rivera. Rivera? Give it to me. Rivera? Can it mean that he has been... We'll soon know, General Diaz. Well? Monterey has fallen. Monterey? It isn't possible. We've got a plan to counterattack. To... The French Marshal Bazaine caught the entire command in a crossfire. Wiped it out. Rivera defeated. <sighs> Did you hear that, Colonel O'Reilly? See, I heard. That's what I've been expecting. I think we should ask Bazaine for an armistice and come to terms with Maximilian. That is a decision that only Benito Pablo Juarez can make. A hundred president. And where is Benito Pablo Juarez now? Miles away, safe and secure. Do you think that he would Wait. Be... I heard horses. Perhaps there is later news from Rivera. Buenos El Presidente. Can Benito. Senor Juarez. It, uh, it's good to see you, senores. But the news we have for you is not good. Monterey has fallen. See, si, I know. The dispatch rider reached me only a few moments ago. What are we going to do, Dan Benito? Do? The same thing we have done before. Fight a rear guard action and retreat to the north. Fight a rear guard action with what? Broken battalions? No gunpowder? He's right, senor. We have cannon and shot, but very little gunpowder. Our last shipment from the north, I took every precaution to keep it a secret. But as usual, Bazaine found out... See, therefore, I have already made arrangements for something better than gunpowder. Better? Nitroglycerin. Nitro? What is that, senor Warren? Evidently, you have not heard of a Swedish scientist named Nobel. Alfred Nobel. You speak in riddles, Don Benito. I'll explain. A few years ago, Alfred Nobel perfected a new explosive, the most powerful the world has ever known. It is an oil made of nitric acid and glycerin. Last month, I learned that Senor Nobel had left Sweden, was in the United States, at San Francisco. So I sent a young countryman of ours to visit him. Countryman? See, si. 
a young man who was also a scientist and a chemist, Miguel Alvarado. But, Senor Presidente, how do you hope to This morning, to I received a letter from Miguel Alvarado. I'll read it to you. He writes, Dear Senor President, you will be gratified to learn that my mission was successful. I have arranged with Senor Nobel to purchase the patent rights for manufacture of nitroglycerin in the Republic of Mexico. The new explosive oil is infinitely more powerful than we thought. I will bring a sample of it with me and meet you as scheduled on the last day of the month in Sonora. Until then, leave la Mexico. Bueno. I do not wish to be skeptical, Senor Juarez, but how can an explosive as powerful as nitroglycerin be used? If what you say is true, it will blow our cannon to bits. We can no longer fight as an army. We will disband, form a guerrilla groups, retreat into the northern mountains. Fighting a rear guard action? With nitroglycerin to destroy bridges and close canyons behind us. Excellent. And I think the use of the new explosive will have another effect on our enemies. What is that, senor? Fear. In my youth as a student, I learned a simple truth in the study of psychology. Fear. Breeds here. Perhaps you're right, senor. Listen. French gunfire. And it's coming from the west. That means he will surround us. Come! It is true. You can see the smoke from their cannon. See. With your permission, Don Benito and Commandante. Adios. Yes. Are you going Attack to... Attack the French. Begin the rear guard action you spoke about. Vaya con Dios. We will follow your orders, senor presidente. Bueno. I must leave you now because I have a long journey ahead. Day after tomorrow, I meet Miguel Alvarado in Sonora. Adios, Don Benito. Uh, uh, one more thing, Comandante. The letter from Miguel Alvarado. I, I must have left it on the table in your tent. Destroy it. Say, senor. I have great faith in this new discovery. Perhaps nitroglycerin and the fear it will strike in the hearts of our enemies may save Mexico and our people. <laughs> Less than an hour later, when a cavalry officer made his way through the battle lines and reached the command post of Achille Bazin, field marshal of the French army. The new Marichal, I bring news, important news. Well, if it isn't our most important liaison officer in the army of Juarez. <laughs> Did you see him, Carlos? See? Si. What is the news? Did that stupid Indian and his peon army want to surrender? No, Senor Juarez has just left our headquarters. Juarez? You fool! Why didn't you let me know? If I could capture Juarez, the cattle he calls troops would fall apart. Well, the visit was unexpected. He remained only a few minutes. Then what's the news? Speak up. A letter addressed to Senor Juarez. He speaks for himself. Let me see it. Hmm. Alfred Nobel. Nitroglycerin. Ah, stop, priest. Is something wrong, Senor Marshal? Wrong. This, this Nobel... The emperor himself tried to purchase some of these new explosives. Nobel refused. And now, now he gives it to that pay on level to light. of Blitzerin. What is that, senor? Oh, you would not understand. Miguel Alvarado. Who is he, you are, What is mentioned? Only a young chemist, senor. Let's see. You will be in Sonora day after tomorrow. Captain Lopez. Si, senor. Quick. A map showing the mountain trails in the province of Sonora. Si, senor. Here. Hmm. He has undoubtedly traveled from San Diego to Yuma by stagecoach. He would have to ride a saddle horse after he crosses the line and... Lopez, see? See this point? The main trail from the territory of Arizona to Sonora? See, si, Marcia. Take a detail of your native militia. Sometime, day after tomorrow, a man named Miguel Alvarado will travel that route. Stop him. Right here would be a good place. But, Senor Marshal, the spot you indicate is Echo Canyon. Very dangerous terrain. What's dangerous about it? A favorite place of ambush for Apache Indian tribes. I'm not interested in Apaches. I want Miguel Alvarado. Brought back here, alive. See, si. It shall be done, Marshal. If a half-witted Indian named Juarez can buy the formula for nitroglycerin, I certainly can steal it. Two days passed. On the afternoon of the second day, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reined up their horses on the high trail above Echo Canyon. Oh, 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 we'll rest the horses for a few minutes, Tonto. Ah, sun plenty hot and... Kimasabi. Huh? What is it? See on trail, bottom of canyon. 
fellow ride pony. Yes, I see. <laughs> Nothing unusual in that. Look, behind fellow, plenty men ride hard. Look like soldier. Oh, yeah. You're right, Tonto. The uniforms mean French troops who have no reason or right to be on this side of the line. Ooh. You think maybe they... Now look, they open fire and they're gaining on him. I wonder why he doesn't try to get to the other... Stop now. Take bottle from saddlebag. Him going to throw it. Yes, but I'm afraid it'll take more than a bottle. What make big noise? Me not see. Neither did I. They didn't stop the soldiers. They're still after him. Hold up. Uh-huh. This is Echo Canyon. If we ride down from this end, keep behind the brush and do a lot of shooting and yelling, we can make it sound like an Apache war party. Ah, uh, scared soldier. I huh? hope so. One, two, get off the count. going any further. The horse is winded. The rest of the nitroglycerin is in the other saddlebag. We oh, can't oh, get oh, oh, oh. Raise your hand, Senor Alvarado, and walk this way. Andale! Uh, how did you know that I... I mean, know my name? The military intelligence of His Majesty's army knows many things. Well, you... There's no right to stop me here. This is sort of the United States. <laughs> United States of America. Never mind. We won't be here long. Sonora is less than a mile away. Pepe, Chico. Tie the hands of Senor Alvarado to his saddle. He will ride ahead of us. Sí, I think so. <laughs> Mucho gracias. Hey, Look, the bandit. Uh, Ringo Outlaw wearing a mask. There must be a thousand Apaches behind him. We are outnumbered, Capitan. Forget the prisoner. Oh, no. Hey. Ah. Hey. Oh, 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 oh,
just after sunset when the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Miguel Alvarado arrived at the Padre's mission. Will you stay with the horses, Tonto? Grail and I'll wait for you inside. Ah. Oh, wait. Uh, you better take your saddlebags in with us. Well? Uh, wise precaution, senor. I'll carry them. Silver. Scout. I was just preparing the evening meal. If you'll excuse me, it won't take long. Certainly, buddy. Well, we can rest here for a while, Miguel. Wait now. Senor, I'll confess I'm still baffled by the whole experience. Says so? Who are you? Why do you wear that mask? Why did you risk your life to help someone you had never seen before? Well, the mask and who I am isn't important. And I've already told you the reason for what I did in Echo Canyon. That amazes me, too. How did you know that eight or ten soldiers, heavily armed, would turn and run when they heard the cries of the imaginary Indians? I didn't know for sure. But I did know there have been many Apache raids in Echo Canyon. Most people, even soldiers, are afraid of it. I made use of their fear. That's all. Make use of fear? I've heard Senor Juarez speak almost the same words. The simple fact of human psychology. If more people realize that the greatest fear is... Fear itself, there'd be less unhappiness in the world. I, I can't believe it. A masked outlaw discussing psychology. Oh, I really know very little about it. But the Pondry has some excellent books on the subject. The one over there at the end of the shelf, under the window that I think. He must have Hello. Hello, what's wrong? You see, plenty of soldiers around trail. They come both ways. Soldiers? That means Wait, they... I can see from the window whether or not. French troops, all right. You must be searching every rancho and farmhouse. We're in the middle. Soldier are coming. Yes, I know, Padre. We'll have to work fast. But it's impossible to hold off an entire cavalry troop. It's me they hunt. Why should you... Well, when I ride over here from the canyon, you told me that getting that nitroglycerin to Juarez was the most important thing in the world to you. It is. But you're not a citizen of Mexico. This isn't your fight. Any fight for freedom is mine. Padre, you go out to the courtyard. Hold them off with talk as long as you can. Yes, my son. Miguel, leave your jacket and hat here. There's a room at the back of the mission, only a few feet from the stable. Yeah. Wait there until you hear the soldiers come in here. Then get on your horse and ride. But how? I mean... One what? more thing. You better pour the nitroglycerin into another bottle. Leave the flask there in the kitchen. I will do that. Lucky thing, you and I are about the same weight and size. Senor, you're not Hurry, going... Miguel, there's no time to lose. I obey your orders, senor. Why are you going to now, Tonto, help me with the disguise. I mean, I'm not savvy. I've got to be Miguel Alvarado by the time the soldiers get in here. My mission is just a humble place of worship, senor. How could I possibly... Enough know? of your lies. We will search Adobe shack and see for ourselves. Come on, I'll bring you men. See, Capitan. You can see there is no one looking for someone, Captain. Alvarado. Miguel Alvarado. You are under arrest. That isn't my name, but I won't argue with a gun. Mientes. Baby Chico, mm -hmm. hold him. See, Capitan. Oh. Oh. We find the young rebel who would carry nitroglycerin into Juarez hiding in a church like a frightened mouse, hmm? Just a minute and I'll tell you. <sighs> no, I'm afraid you don't, Captain. Not this time. Ah, you lie. Where is the nitroglycerin? Why should I know? Chico, thirsty place. It is an evil-smelling yellow-colored oil, probably in a bottle. That is what he threw at us in the canyon. See? I hope Chico has a proper respect for nitroglycerin. You see, it, it doesn't know the difference between royalists and rebels. Shut! Here, Capitan. What's my bottle I find in the kitchen? There are traces of yellow oil. And he has destroyed it. With this proof, do you still deny you are Miguel Alvarado? Yes, I do. Very well. I will save further questions until later. We leave at once for the military prison at Canaya. Guard your prisoner, Cobra. See, si, Capitan. March! can we help him, Tonto? Uh, me not know. Tonto think this time nobody can help mask man. There are too many soldiers, too many guns. I'll follow them to the prison at Cananea. Maybe they will let me see him. Uh, you wait here. But there must be something we can do, my son. 
I'll go to this French Marshal des Indes, or to Maximilian himself and appeal for mercy. I'm afraid it wouldn't do any good, Padre. You heard what the guard just told me. Order for my execution has been delivered. They can't execute you. You are an American citizen. I go to the consulate. Oh, there isn't time for that. Besides, I'm here under the name of Miguel Alvarado. Why, my son? Must your life be the forfeit? So there'll be nitroglycerin for Juarez. Why? Why did you do it? I admit my scheme didn't work out so well. I thought Captain Lopez would take me to the marshal. That would have given me time to plan an escape. No? Apparently. Nothing but a firing squad. Oh, if, if there were only something, some way Wait. That... I just thought of... Is there still time for you to go to the mission and get back here before daybreak? I can't bring in any weapons. The guard search me. It isn't a gun that I want. Listen, Padre. Now listen carefully. What mask man say? He wants you to return with me, Tonto. Bring silver and wait near the south side of the prison. Ah. You smuggle him guns, Lone Ranger shoot way out? No, that is impossible. Uh, he asked me to bring only one thing. And what's that? A book. The last one on the shelf under the window. And he wants it wrapped in brown paper. I have it here. Book? Me not savvy. Nor do I. But it's almost daybreak. We must hurry. Come. me to go into the room with you. Yes, I know, Padre. Don't worry about me. Just hope. I will pray with all my heart. Uh, Corporal. See? I have solaced the last hours of many condemned men. With your permission, may the prisoner carry this small book with him. <laughs> Paper books will not stop bullets. Here. Thank you, Padre. March. Adelante. In nomine, Padre, et filius, et spirito sancto. Halt. March. Halt. The prisoner, Capitan. Bueno. Line up your men, Cobra. We get this over with. Si. Well, Miguel Alvarado, what have you to say, hmm? Nothing. A blindfold for your eyes, perhaps, so you won't see the death that will spit from these four rifles. No, thank you. Stand against the far wall. Well, Alvarado, my commanding officer orders me to extend this offer. The formula for explosives you have memorized. Give it to the imperial government and your life will be spared. I have nothing to say. Then we waste precious time. Squad, and up! Ready? And... Just a moment, Captain Lopez. Well? I do have one thing to say. You're executing the wrong man. What is... You are Miguel Alvarado? Oh, I am not. Yes, if you lie. It's the truth. And who would you have us believe you are, senor? You might say I'm, well, an amateur psychologist. Psychologist. A man about to die, prattles about science. <laughs> Ready? And... and there's something else I forgot to mention. Have you noticed this flat package I have in my hand? Package? The book, Capitan. The priest gave it to him. It's perhaps a book of prayer. It might be, but it isn't. Remember the flat bottle you found at the mission? It had contained nitroglycerin, a very powerful explosive that you discovered yesterday in the canyon. Remember? The book you have has nothing to do with... No. It's the same shape and size, Captain. Just wrapped in brown paper, that's all. You mean it is a bottle filled with... Now, you're blocking. The slightest jar sets off nitroglycerin. I don't believe it. I don't believe There's it. There's one sure way to prove it. Go ahead and shoot. What? Attention! Ready? I can't hold this after I'm dead. If none of your bullets strike it, it will fall on the stone floor, Captain. You hand me that back. You better stay where you are. I might drop it. You can't blow Why don't you give orders to shoot, Captain? I'm ready. No, you... We'll all die together. This much nitroglycerin will blow the whole prison a hundred feet into the air. I... 
Ready? Aim. No, no, Capitan. No, 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 no. Is the killing of one rebel worth the sacrifice of our lives? He's floating. Maybe not. He has explosive oil today. I refuse to shoot. I refuse to commit suicide. No, 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 no. I'll have every one of you caught, Master Potty. Better that than being blown to bits. You're talking good common sense. I congratulate you. I, I kill you myself with my own gun. Why risk it, Captain? You... Now listen carefully. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll walk across the room, open that door, and walk out. Any of you make a move or try to stop me, I'll drop this little flat package. You understand? Oh, no, 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 as I close the door, I'll just toss it into the air like this. What is it? Why, he didn't drink the, the door after that man. The door is locked from the other side, Capitan. Look, look. It was a book after all. Nothing but a book. Father told the truth. Gringo Ambre fooled us into thinking it. Let me see that. Uh, what is this? I cannot read this gringo English. All it says in the first page is this. A lesson in applied psychology. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>